I hate to focus on just one thing, but we're trying to figure out what was happening in real time with the Dodgers and Justin Turner and when everybody, like, why did this test come back during the middle of game six of the World Series? Boy, is that a great question, Dan. And and the one, now there are two things that I'm still a little confused about. The first is that I was told that the tests from Monday, which should have been back before game time on Tuesday, before game six, had not arrived. The results arrived in the second inning, and they said that Justin Turner's test was inconclusive. It showed some signs uh, that he might be positive and Right around then, the tests that were taken on Tuesday, the day of Game 6, had arrived in Utah at Major League Baseball's lab for COVID-19 testing. And they said, don't rerun that original inconclusive test. Let's just go straight to the new one and spin that sucker. And it takes about two hours to get results. And in between the second inning, when they had the inconclusive test from Monday, and the seventh inning, when they had uh, finally gotten the results from Tuesday's testing, they realized that Tuesday's came back positive, called up the Dodgers, said, get him out of the game as soon as you can. And that's why Justin Turner sat down uh, and everything that happened, happened. Okay, but he's been around his teammates. We've had no positives for 58 days. I, yep. I don't know if baseball ran the risk of leaving him in the game since he had already been around his teammates. He, you know, here he is in the seventh inning here. I, I don't know if reporters, I don't know if you or Kenny Rosenthal, like you guys found out and baseball had to do this. I mean, I hate to be cynical or skeptical with this, but it's kind of crazy. It's just what unfolded. In, 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 right? It's, it's, it's to- yeah, it's, it's totally crazy and it's totally ridiculous. I will say this, though, uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here because I might be off, but I think if Justin Turner had tested positive and had remained in isolation, it would have been – a part of this story, but it would not have been the focus like it is right now. And mm-hmm. the fact that he was out there on the field, the fact that he went out there with a mask but took it down, taking pictures with his wife, and took it off when he was sitting next to uh, the World Series trophy on his left mm-hmm. and Dave Roberts, his manager, uh, a cancer survivor, on the right who was also maskless. Uh, you know, Andrew Friedman talked about the optics and how the optics were were bad, if that's the case. And the optics were bad. But, I mean, it goes beyond optics, too, right? Like, it's just – it's a health thing. And, and it's a bummer that baseball had done as well as it had for as long as it had. And then when something like this happened, it was pulled off in such a slipshod um, – just ugly way. And, and I don't think, you know what, to me, I don't think it takes away from what the Dodgers did no. and from the meaning of this. I think when we look back five or 10 years from now, we're going to look back and say that the Dodgers won the world series for the first time in 32 years. But in the moment, it just, it feels wrong and it looked wrong. And, uh, you know, you, you can, you can have a lot of excuses. You can say he's been around uh, his teammates and people in the organization uh, in close quarters. He rode the bus with them over to the park that day, a 20-minute bus ride. So clearly he was, uh, you know, close enough to people uh, for more than 15 minutes that they're pretty much all going to be contacts with him at this point and that uh, all the people who he ran into on the field were people who he had run into already otherwise but even still, uh, you know, baseball had had done such a good job up until this point, and uh, it's just it's unfortunate that it went the way that it did. 